Uh, good morning, traders. I uh, want to talk to you here about the um, setup for scalping. Uh, I'm going to make two videos here today and post them both. One's for Tastyworks and the other one's going to be for Thinkorswim because they uh, they both use both of these same index, the Keltler channel and the True Strength indicator, but they're a little bit different. So I, and, and I want to show you both of them. Um, and I feel between Tasty Works and Thinkorswim, there's a lot of a lot of traders out there that use uh, one of these two platforms. <clears throat> so first of all, let's talk about the. Um, I'm on a one minute time frame, as you can see right here. Um, I'm currently got the micro uh, Nasdaq called up, and uh, <clears throat> the Keltler channel. The Keltler channel is made up of three bands, and if you've all heard of Bollinger bands. It's kind of somewhat the same. It's got a middle band, which is this yellow line, and it has a higher and a lower band of two blues. Um, now, with the Bollinger Bands, it fires off of volatility, and you will commonly see the bands really expand or contract as volatility expands and contracts. But the Keller Channel uh, triggers more off of price average. And um, so... Um, I, I like the, the Keller channel for me. My, that's just a personal preference. Uh, I use that. It is one of the two indicators I tend to use during scalping. I, um, I, I recommend that you use more than one indicator. Uh, if you can get two indicators confirming your thought process, you know, it's uh, usually a higher probability of being a successful trade. So that's what I do. So let's talk about the true strength indicator on Tastyworks. They have got, it's made up of three lines. One, this is solid blue line, as you can see, go right across here. It's the zero line. And above it is like above zero and below it's below zero. Okay. And um, when it's below the zero line, I tend to trade the micros, the smaller contracts. Okay. And when the red line, the, this red line crosses above this blue line here, that's when I go long. Now, when, it, when the red line crosses above the zero line and is also above the, I'll say, the moving blue line, that's when I tend to trade the big contract because when it goes above the zero line, it, it tends to be a stronger move. So let's look at these two right here. So the red line crossed above the blue, and if you follow the little white line all the way up, you'll see for that minute, the high was 16,156. So uh, let's say you bought it at the high, okay, 156. So the next minute, um, you wouldn't have made any money. The following minute, you're still even. The following minute, it went up to 157, 159. So, and as you can see, it bloomed all the way up here to 178 in about five minutes or so. <clears throat> So that would have been a, a real good scalp. <clears throat> now, when the red line crosses above the zero line, let's look at it again here, and the high is 170. So let's say you bought it at the high. The very next minute, it went to 178, eight points in one minute. If you have a small contract, it's $2 a point. If you have the big contract, it's $20 a point. So eight points in one minute would have been $160 on the big contract. Not bad for a minute's worth of work. So that's uh, the, the setups I use here um, on Tastyworks. And um, I'm going to make another video here in just a little bit uh, with Toss and show you um, kind of the same thing, but how their system works. Good luck.